So Julie, we know that company culture is very important these days. And maybe during remote working, it's a little bit changed because people are working from home. They're not face to face. Now that we're coming back, sometimes some people will be working from home. Some people will be uh, office, like hybrid work will happen. But still, company culture is the core in terms of attracting talent. And as we mentioned previously, uh, employees have now kind of a different relationship in regards to work. So what are your intakes in terms of how can employees, employers create culture that can attract talent? That's a, a really timely question, Maher. Um, Microsoft just released a study. 46% of people want a positive culture from um, new employers. So folks who are leaving are looking for that kind of a positive culture. Yeah. And whether we're remote or we're together, culture is essentially the net effect of the behaviors that are demonstrated within the organization. And so the kinds of cultures that are attracting top talent today are cultures that have a really solid vision, mission, purpose, mm -hmm. but not just have it and have it plastered up on the wall. Yeah. They're living it. Yeah. Day in and day out. It's how they make decisions. Mm -hmm. It's how they interact with people. It's it's the very uh, heart of the business. Yeah. And especially after the last couple of years, people purpose matters. Yeah. You know, we we're realizing a lot of us you know, we faced our mortality for the first time in our lives. And we realized we don't have that many years on the planet. How yeah. do I want to deploy it and really make a difference? Yeah. So vision, purpose, mission is really key. A second quality that employees are looking for is transparency. Mm -hmm. And in the past, employers were able to be opaque about things. They were able to keep things behind closed doors. Yeah. In today's environment, nothing is secret anymore. Yeah. Employees are going to find out who's making more, who's lined up for the next uh, promotion, who the company is in talks with. There's, there's no way to keep any secrets. And organizations try to do that, just undermine the trust of, of those within the organization. Yeah. In one of my recent uh, interviews, uh, I believe someone told me that when they do meetings, they all, the first five minutes, they talk about the vision or the mission and how mm -hmm. they're making that decisions related to that vision so that employees can see that they're having an impact. Whatever they're making that decision is related to the mission of the company. I love that. And that kind of a clear line of sight Mm -hmm. is really important because everybody's busy. Yeah. And if leaders don't connect the dots like that, they remain unconnected. And, and the best efforts that an organization might be undertaking are just invisible to employees. So that's a really smart strategy. I totally agree with you. And again, thank you for your insight. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of company culture, please leave comments below. And tune in next time for another great question with Julie.